use an equalizer with a 20 hertz low cut as a first effect. Now here's a neat little trick you may want to try out. Add an equalizer as your very first effect and give it a steep low cut or high pass around 20 hertz. You probably won't hear the difference immediately, but once you start adding other effects, especially distortions, you will notice that it's easier to make your kick sound right. This has to do with the way the distortion affects the signal after it's being low cut. If you've never tried it, just give it a shot and let's see if you too can reap the benefits. Use equalizers to make low cuts. We already briefly touched the subject at number 8 on this list, but making low cuts can work wonders for your hardstyle kicks. You see, when you add a steep low cut with an equalizer, you create some room before the signal enters a distortion. As low frequencies tend to break up the sound, you allow it to open up by removing them, resulting in interesting distortion shapes, added harmonics, and even a heavier type of sound. Now, as a general advice, try to shoot for a steep low cut anywhere from 20Hz up until maybe 60Hz. Personally, I found the 30 to 40 hertz range work the best, thereby use this trick with a couple of different equalizers throughout your chain of effects, especially the first few in your effects chain. However, near the end it's usually best to, best to be more careful, be more subtle about it, else you may ruin your hard saw kick a little bit by getting flat and kind of plastic sounding. Now please be aware that you may want to add in some extra lower frequencies further in your chain to make up for any lost ones here. The lower frequencies can be boosted by a so-called low shelf band on an equalizer anywhere from 40 to 200 hertz. Of course, depending on what and how much you want to add. Don't overdo it though, as it might crush your kick. 